And really, to answer that question, it all comes down to one guy, this William Maitland Woods. This is historian Dr. Emily Robertson, who still vividly recalls the first time she saw the Shalal Mosaic. And I was really struck with how out of place it was amongst all of the other collection items. And so Dr. Emily started digging into this Reverend William Maitland Woods. Maitland Woods is a really interesting character. He was born in the UK. He was educated in Oxford and then he came to Australia and he served as a chaplain with the Queensland Mounted Forces. So, was he an archaeologist? Or? No, he was an amateur archaeologist. Is and he famous that piece of the Shalal Mosaic? No. No. Oh, isn't. I'm sorry to tell you. Technically, I still haven't shown you a real piece of the Shalal Mosaic. That is, until now. Remember when Ryan said Maitland would smuggle other pieces of the Shalal Mosaic? The Reverend immediately had part of it smuggled out of Palestine. In St John's Cathedral, one of the grandest old churches in Brisbane, Australia, lies one of the final pieces of Maitland Woods' legacy. So that is another piece of the Shalal Mosaic, right? Yes, it is a piece of the Shalal Mosaic, yes. So for me, as a First World War historian, it shows us how people needed to bring the war back home because it was so distant and people didn't understand either the violence or the wonder of what they were seeing. Yes, this end of the cathedral, the east end of the cathedral, has a lot of relics that attach to World War I. And when I think about what it was like for those people coming back, the whole country was dealing with trauma. I think in that great ferment, people were really trying to make sense of what had happened. It's amazing how much it kind of connects to it, right, Emily? Yeah. An object has lots of meanings, and sometimes that meaning can be given to it well after it was made. Yes, it, it, and it absolutely represents this very strange story about a devout Christian man who could see a Byzantine mosaic representing the story of Australians who were, in his mind, on crusade. Do you think we'll ever know how many pieces of mosaic no, are spread around? <laughs> we'll ever know, and we're never going to find out where all of the bits are. It's very sad. One mosaic wanted by Israel, Palestine, Britain, now somehow spread across Australia, each imbuing it with their own meaning. But what does that mean for the people it was taken from? Each mosaic is telling a story, and we would like to show the people where is our cultural heritage uh, now. If they know their history, maybe it should help them to support their identity. I am Muslim, but before to, to be Muslim, I was Christian. Then before Christian, I was Jewish. I am not coming from nothing. I have a base. I have foundation. We have a lot of things in common. This is the message that mosaics can tell you, cultural heritage can tell you.